All right, all right, all right. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, brothers and sisters all over the world. The name of this channel is The African Times, and I'm Thomas. Okay, everybody, I'm not going to keep you too long. I'm going to jump right in. Uh, as you know, uh, I released a couple of videos about uh, our good sister who was, uh, her life was taken away by uh, uh, a police officer. This video is not about that. I'm not going to be talking about that directly, but I'm bringing that up now because this is the political season, and many of us uh, have a history of voting and participating in this period, this electoral period, so that we can better our lives. That's the whole purpose of participating in this in this political season and the whole purpose of your voting. Uh, now, what I'm coming to you today for, I'm coming to you personally with an appeal, not for a political recommendation or a political support, not any of that. We do that, and we've all done that, Democrat, Republican, it doesn't matter which one you are. I have no preference, no opinion about that. But I know that when you do that, it's because you're, you're hoping that your support for a particular candidate a particular party or whatever, the purpose of that is to try to improve your life, to try to make your life better. So when you vote for this person, you pledge your support for this person, you're hoping that they do that. I'm coming to you today because there's a brother who ran for president. He's not running for president now, but he ran for president. And you didn't get the opportunity to really hear about him, his views, his approach towards helping you, his approach towards helping your children and providing uh, opportunities for us as people and to try to do the best to make the world a better place, which is what all of them claim to do. You don't, you don't know about him. So there are others like me, a small number of us, in, who uh, are doing our part as uh, individuals with platforms, uh, on the media. His name is Dr. John F. Johnson. I've talked to you before about him. If if you're new to this channel, if you're new watching me, his name is Dr. John F. Johnson. Uh, some of you may know him as uh, Grandmaster J. Uh, but you don't really know a great deal about him. So I'm going to try to take this moment to tell you a little bit about him and ask for your support for this brother. As I told you, he's not running for office, but he's currently uh, incarcerated. And he's incarcerated because he stood up and tried to say things to help protect you, me, and people that look like you and me. And as running for president, as I told you in the beginning, running for president of the United States is an effort by an individual to serve all people, not just you, not just people that look like me and you, but all people who make up the citizenry of the United States. And that's what he attempted to do. But as an independent running for office, you get very little airtime, and particularly uh, if you were uh, a person that looks like me and you and you're independent, you will get very little airtime. And then if you say the things that are really going to help the people and you say that you really want to help the people and you put forth ideas and proposals to help the people, you get even less airtime. So you can see here I'm showing you pictures of him. Uh, and also you'll see there that there is information about how to support and donate to Dr. John F. Johnson. To support him, uh, he is a man who stood up for your protection. And as you see with our good sister, when I started the video, this good sister was in her home, peaceful, not bothering anybody. And she lost her life when she simply called and asked for help. 
This man, along with, I'm talking about Dr. Johnson, along with other brothers and sisters from an organization called INFAC, made a visible appearance and public display of unity to people that look like you and me and to others in the country in an effort to let people know that the killing of people that look like you and me, the unjust killing of people that look like you and me, has to stop. So as a result of him doing that, as many of you know is the case in the country of America, the United States of America, individuals who take those positions sometimes come up against forces that seek to incarcerate them or take their lives. We're fortunate that this brother is still with us. And because he's still with us, we have an opportunity to support him and to show our deep, heartfelt gratitude for what he and others, a part of the coalition of Infact, what they did on our behalf. So please, I'm making a personal appeal to you. Support our good brother through donations to his legal defense fund. These contributions that you make are greatly appreciated. They go for a very worthy cause. If you don't know, I think his sentence was seven years. And he's he's been, I think, there for a couple of years. So he will be returning to us. But the hope and the goal is that he can return to us sooner than later. And your contribution will help to the possibility of that happening. The legal, as you know, uh, to put forth a campaign to fight for your uh, freedom legally can be costly. You have legal expenses with both attorneys and forms and fees and all of these things. And this is what I personally am appealing to you for, is to join me and others around the world in supporting our brother with your monetary contribution. There is no amount too small, and there's certainly no amount too large. I'm asking for you to please, just as you would, supporting a candidate who was fighting for your rights, your liberties, your freedoms, and your prosperity to support our brother. And to all of you who are business owners, to all of you who are uh, participants in religious organizations, what I'm asking just as you contribute to those political organizations, those business organizations, and those religious organizations, is please take out an amount and send to our brother to show your appreciation for his efforts and his sacrifice for you, for me, and others that look like us. As you see, he warned us about the coming events that would result in the loss of lives of many of the people that look like you and me. And as you see, with our good sister, Sonia Massey, who lost her life, we're now seeing women and children and men of all ages, all the way back to Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, 12 years old, 
to Ahmaud Arbery, a young man, I think in his early 20s, and, and now Breonna Taylor, and now this beautiful black woman, Sonia Massey. This is what Dr. John F. Johnson, Grandmaster J, was warning us about and took practical, tangible steps along with the good brothers and sisters of NFAC to try to stop. Not just talking, but actually taking efforts, practical steps to stop these heinous, horrible acts that are taking place against people that look like you and me. So once again, I won't take, you, take up much of your time. Please look here. You can write down the information. It's there. Please donate to his legal defense fund as a show of support and gratitude to the ex extreme and extraordinary sacrifice that this man made on your behalf, my behalf, and other people that look like you and me. I thank you a great deal for looking at the videos. I thank you a great deal for all of your comments. And for those of you who have supported and made financial contributions in the past, I thank you for that. And I'm asking those of you who have not made any contributions to consider making a contribution to support our brother who made an extraordinary sacrifice for you, me, and all the people that look like you and me and our children and our future and our posterity. All right? Love you all. Uhuru, uhuru, uhuru.